thế như thì thì how are you Okay, listening, navigation, nightmare. Okay, look at this. Okay, please try to check this one. Listening, navigation, nightmare. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so look at Eileen. Eileen, can you see this one? Okay, listening navigation nightmare. Okay. Okay, we have here different vocabulary. We have concorder, console, headset, tatnav. Okay, we have here Lynn digital, using system or receiving and sending information as serious. Next is ridiculous. Okay, very silly or unreasonable. So we have really look at the photo and explain the meaning of the headlines. Why do you think people make this kind of mistakes? Okay, please look at the photo and explain the meaning of the headlines below. Why do you think people make this kind of mistake?
Mm. Okay. Satnab Arrow Leaf Chopper is in wrong country or what do you think? If you look at the photo, Lynn, what do you think or explain the meaning of the headlines? Why do you think people make this kind of mistakes? Okay, you choose one headline. Example, you choose letter C. And please try to explain. If you don't like the talk, please explain it to me in the, what they call that one, Lynn, in the chat box. Okay. Because maybe the GPS maybe wrong. GPS failure. Yeah. You have GPS failure leaves woman in Zagreb two days later. Okay, so why do you think so? Yeah. So if you were gonna look at this one, this GPS failure. So. The woman gets stuck in the in the beauty went wrong, so the woman stuck in in the in the chakra maybe
all together. Okay. Okay, so GPS, where's your explanation? Okay, how many people can you see in the picture, Lynn? And why do you think they are there? How many people? Um, uh, and two people, and I think they are the, I mean, the helper, I think so. Yes, okay, you can see three people, right? And the man, as you can see, hardly had time to pull out the car. So maybe there's a GPS problem with this one. There's a GPS failure that she might be thinking this is the right way, but it's the wrong way. Okay. Okay, so let's send in to the two people discussing the news item. Which one, which of the headline exercise one are you talking about? Lesson 5C, Exercises 2 and 3. Have you seen this story in the newspaper? Which one? <laughs> the one about Sabine Moreau, a woman from Belgium. It's quite funny. Listen to this. <clears throat> when 67-year-old Sabine Moreau got in her car and set off from her home in Belgium, she was planning to pick up a friend from a station about 60 kilometres away. She used her sat-nav to guide her and did not notice when the sat-nav started taking her in the wrong direction. She ended up about 1,500 kilometres away in Croatia, having travelled through six different countries. The journey took two and a half days, it says here. That's amazing! What did she do when she got to Croatia? She had to drive all the way home again. <laughs> I reckon she just wanted to spend a couple of days on her own. I mean, I don't think you can drive across six countries by mistake. Did anyone notice that she was missing? Uh, yes, they did. It says here, during that time, Ms Moreau's son contacted the police and told them that his mother had disappeared. When reporters asked Ms Moreau about her mistake, she told them that she had had a few things to think about and hadn't really noticed what was happening. That's what she says now. But in my view, she invented the whole story about the sat-nav. Oh, I'm not sure. I expect hundreds of people end up in completely the wrong place because of their sat-nav. When you're following a sat-nav, you stop thinking for yourself. I know, but you don't drive for two and a half days. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Hey, you want to listen again? Lesson 5C, Exercises 2 and 3. Have you seen this story in the newspaper? Which one? <laughs> the one about Sabine Moreau, a woman from Belgium. It's quite funny. Listen to this. <clears throat> when 67-year-old Sabine Moreau got in her car and set off from her home in Belgium, she was planning to pick up a friend from a station about 60 kilometres away. 
She used her sat-nav to guide her and did not notice when the sat-nav started taking her in the wrong direction. She ended up about 1,500 kilometres away in Croatia, having travelled through six different countries. The journey took two and a half days, it says here. That's amazing! What did she do when she got to Croatia? She had to drive all the way home again. I reckon she just wanted to spend a couple of days on her own. I mean, I don't think you can drive across six countries by mistake. Did anyone notice that she was missing? Uh, yes, they did. It says here, During that time, Ms Moreau's son contacted the police and told them that his mother had disappeared. When reporters asked Ms Moreau about her mistake, she told them that she had had a few things to think about and hadn't really noticed what was happening. That's what she says now. But in my view, she invented the whole story about the sat-nav. Well, I'm not sure. I expect hundreds of people end up in completely the wrong place because of their sat-nav. When you're following a sat-nav, you stop thinking for yourself. I know. But you don't drive for two and a half days. That's ridiculous. <laughs>
I expect hundreds of people end up in completely the wrong place because of their sat-nav. When you're following a sat-nav, you stop thinking for yourself. I know, but you don't drive for two and a half days. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so you're done? Okay, okay, sure. Lesson 5C, exercises 2 and 3. Have you seen this story in the newspaper? Which one? <laughs> the one about Sabine Moreau, a woman from Belgium. It's quite funny. Listen to this. <clears throat> When 67-year-old Sabine Moreau got in her car and set off from her home in Belgium, she was planning to pick up a friend from a station about 60 kilometres away. She used her sat-nav to guide her and did not notice when the sat-nav started taking her in the wrong direction. She ended up kilometres away in Croatia, having travelled through six different countries. The journey took two and a half days, it says here. That's amazing. What did she do when she got to Croatia? She had to drive all the way home again. I reckon she just wanted to spend a couple of days on her own. I mean, I don't think you can drive across six countries by mistake. Did anyone notice that she was missing? Uh, yes, they did. It says here, during that time... Ms Moreau's son contacted the police and told them that his mother had disappeared. When reporters asked Ms Moreau about her mistake, she told them that she had had a few things happening. That's what she says now. But in my view, she invented the whole story about the sat-nav. I'm not sure. I expect hundreds of people end up in completely the wrong place because of their sat-nav. When you're following a sat-nav, you stop thinking for yourself. I know, but you don't drive for two and a half days. That's ridiculous. <laughs> You just tell me if you're done, huh? Okay, so you have here. Sabine Muru began her journey in Belgium. Okay, correct. It's fact. She traveled through six different countries before arriving in Croatia. Correct. She wanted to spend a couple of days on her own. Opinion. That's opinion. Okay, it's only opinion. Her son contacted the police. It's fact. It's real. Miss, Miss Maru invented a story about the following. About following her. It's check. And hundreds of people follow their satnaps without thinking and end up at the wrong destinations. Okay. Yeah, hey, very good. Okay. You understand this well. Okay. Please try to match three of the gadget in the list with photos A to C. Please try to match three of the gadgets in the list with photos A to C.
Okay. Okay, so we have here letter A. It's smartwatch. Next, we have digital radio. Next, we have games console. Okay, again, we have the smartwatch. We have the digital radio and the games console. Okay, very good. So here, listen to the five dialogues clean. Which gadget from exercises four are, men are mentioned in each one? Actually, the gadgets are above... Okay, so all you have to do is just to listen to each dialogue so you will know what gadgets are mentioned. One. Lesson 5C, exercises 5 and 6. 1. Hi, I wonder if you can help me. Sure, what's the problem? My smartphone is locked. If I put the passcode in, nothing happens. Right, can I see? Yes, look, 5261. Nothing. Hmm. This for three times. Are you sure you've got the right passcode? Yes, I'm sure. But my three-year-old son was playing with it this morning. Ah, well, that could be the problem. I expect he's pressed some keys and locked your phone. Anyway, I'm afraid I can't help you. We can't unlock phones here. You need to contact your phone network. They're the only people who can unlock it. How long does it take? Mm, it's hard to say. I reckon you should allow at least three or four days. Oh dear. That's quite a long time. Are you sure you can't do anything to help me? I'm afraid not. Okay. Hey. Two. Two. Can I help you? Oh, yes. Do you live around here? You could say that. That's my house. Well, my sat-nav says it's up this road. Uh, but this isn't a road. You can see that, and you're ruining my grass. Are you sure this isn't the Victoria Hotel? Of course I'm sure. I live here. Oh, how annoying. All right, I'll turn around. Uh, uh, don't turn around. You'll ruin the plants. Just go backwards. All right. Look, it isn't my fault. I'm just following the sat-nav. Do you know where the hotel is? I think there's a hotel around the next corner. But it isn't called the Victoria Hotel. It's the Empire Hotel. 
The Empire Hotel. That's the one. You said the Victoria. I know, but I'm pretty sure it's called the Empire. Thank you. Bye. Don't drive over my... Roses. Three. Have you been using my MP3 player? Uh, no. Yes, you have. Well, maybe once or twice. How do you know? Because all the songs are different. I added a few songs. You're right. Do you like them? Not really. Why did you erase all my songs? I didn't erase anything. I just copied about ten new songs onto it. You did erase them. Look, there are only ten songs on here now, and they're yours. Mine aren't here. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. You've got a backup of your songs on your computer, haven't you? No, I haven't. I loaded them onto the MP3 player from a friend's tablet. That's stealing. It isn't stealing. He said it was OK. I don't mean stealing from your friend. I mean stealing from the people who made the songs. It's called copyright theft, and it's damaging Look, to... that isn't the point. Don't use my MP3 player without asking. Four. You were great. I didn't know you could dance so well. Thanks, Dad. Did you video any of it? Yes, I did. I used my new camcorder. Ooh, let me see. There should be four or five clips. These are all clips... I recorded those yesterday. I wonder what happened. Basically, you didn't record anything at all tonight. I, I tried to. Actually... It did keep giving me a message. Something about memory full? I wasn't sure what it meant. It means the memory is full. So what do I do about that? Never mind. Actually, all the members of the cast are getting together a bit later to celebrate the end of the show. I'll talk to people there. Maybe somebody else videoed it. I hope so. I think the man next to me had a camcorder too. OK. Anyway, thanks for coming. Glad you enjoyed it. E five. Five. Is that a new games console? No, it isn't. But it's a new game. It looks good. What's it called? Temple of Fear. <laughs> Reckon you need to get to the other side of that river. I agree. But how? Mm, I'm not sure. Keep looking for clues. Maybe there's a secret bridge or a boat. Oh, I've nearly run out of time. How do you know? There's a timer in the corner. I've got less than 20 seconds left, and I've been stuck in the same place for ages. What does that number mean? Three. Is that how many lives you've got left? No, that's my score. I've got three points. <laughs> Only three points? That's terrible. I know, but it's my first time. Even so, three points. And look at the top score. It's over a million. Yes, all right. I know I'm doing badly. You don't need to tell me. Okay, so please try write your answer. Okay, number one, have you here number one? Uh, you want to listen? Again, huh, number one. Lesson 5C, exercises 5 and 6. 1. Hi, I wonder if you can help me. Sure, what's the problem? My smartphone is locked. If I put the passcode in, nothing happens. Right, can I see? Yes, look. Five, two, six, one. Nothing. Hmm. This phone automatically locks if an incorrect passcode is entered three times. Are you sure you've got the right passcode? Yes, I'm sure. But my three-year-old son was playing with it this... I expect he's pressed some keys and locked your phone. Anyway, I'm afraid I can't help you. We can't unlock phones here. You need to contact your phone network. They're the only people who can unlock it. How long does it take? 
Mm, it's hard to say. I reckon you should allow at least three or four days. Oh, dear. That's quite a long time. Are you sure you can't do anything to help me? I'm afraid not. Hey, so we have here dialogue one. Okay, smartphone, correct. Dialogue two, we have Satnav, very good. Three, we have MP3 player, very good, Lynn. Okay, dialogue four, camcorder, how about dialogue five? Dialogue five. Okay, it's game console. Yay, very good, Lynn. Okay, Lynn, we don't have enough time. So, teacher Anne will exit because my student is waiting for me. So, we will continue task six on the Wednesday, right? Wednesday? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Please don't forget 